So Sundays are kind of different for me. I take the morning really slow um, and make myself brunch. So I usually, I'm a creature of habit. I usually eat the same thing throughout the week because I know what's like easy to prep um, and like what works for me, especially when I have to be at appointments and everything um, all the time and running around. But on Sunday, I get the chance to like have the time to be in the kitchen and make my food fresh and um, just like experiment with some other stuff. So we're gonna do a Sunday what I eat in a day. And just my little disclaimer of like, this is what I eat in one day. I'm not saying that this, I'm definitely not saying, but this, definitely shouldn't necessarily be what you eat just kind of give you some meal ideas maybe um and yeah because we're all totally different people right and different physiology and human bodies so let's go make sunday brunch so i'm making sweet potato toast this morning one of my favorite things i roasted some sweet potato slices last night and they're in the oven just reheating um but i'm also gonna make some veggies and uh, like pork patties to go on top of them. So I just have some like plain ground pork and I'm gonna add thyme. I like to add a lot of herbs to flavor my stuff. Um, some sage. I don't think these are even focusing, but I'm saying them, so that's all that matters, right? Sage. Uh, I've got some basil. Not gonna focus. All right, cool. <laughs> um, Lots of herbs, and then, of course, my favorite, lots of salt. Redmond sea salt, pink Himalayan salt is my favorite. So then I just mix all that together. I'll spare you the details. And I make little sausage patties, and I pan fry them. Um, so I have a pan over there, you probably can't, I don't know, you can sort of see it. It's just heating up, but all I'm gonna do is make these into little patties so little homemade her herb sausage patties so while those are cooking i'm heating up some coconut oil in this pan over here and i'm going to saute some veggies just a bunch of leftover veggies from the week um so i've got a little bit of leftover turnip some zucchini and yellow squash so i'm just going to chop that up when the day is finally Fading into a dark blue When you even the light can be brighter and dimmer And the night is right then And the lights are shining But no, she can be brighter Oh, brighter than the moon Alright, so I'm gonna assemble my uh, sweet potato toast So, I, this is what I do I just like slice sweet potato And then roast it like that So you get like toast Um, I'm gonna add some avocado Some mashed avocado on top So you get that avocado toast I'm combining the famous avocado toast and the popular sweet potato toast. What I do is add some greens. So I have arugula today. So we put some arugula down. So I have all the veggies that I sauteed in here. Um, so I'll do some of those. This is gonna be a mess. I'm really bad at filming this and trying to get veggies on toast. And then I put my sausage patties right on top. And then I usually add more salt because I'm a salt fiend. There we go. I'm gonna go eat this. This is literally the best thing in the whole world. And before somebody decides to try and come after me about telling me that this is high histamine um, because I deal with mast cell issues, um, you can fuck off. <laughs> I, one, take things to help with my mast cells and chromalin. Two, have figured out what bothers me and doesn't bother me. This meal has never given me any issues. I don't eat a whole avocado at once as much as I want to. I know that would set me off, but I figured out what works for me and I've spent a lot of time doing that. So I don't need your opinion about my food choices. So one of the reasons I hate filming what I eat in a day videos is because I'm a really peckish person. So like I'll eat a meal and then I'll go and have like a couple bites of the leftovers. And then I'll be like, oh, I want something sweet. So I'll have like a bite of an apple because I just want the sweetness on my tongue. And then I'll be like, oh, that was kind of sweet. So I want like two chips, you know? Um, and I just don't record all of that. And it's like hard to, so keep that in mind. Um, I'm gonna try and catch what I can on camera, but like I'm gonna give you the main gist of like the meals I eat in a day. Um, but I do like kind of randomly snack. 
Um, but last night I made these like, I just finished breakfast um, and I'm going to have a pikeish bite of something. But I made these um, like uh, cookie dough bites. They're made with tiger nut flour and coconut flour and coconut oil and maple syrup. And a couple of them have like little chocolate chunks in them. Um, but I just want to bite. <laughs> like that will satisfy me now. I was like having something a little sweet on my tongue because I'm very much a person who likes to have like salty and sweet all the time. Like there has to be a balance of that in my life. <laughs> so there's a little weird habit for you about me. So I've just been doing some meal prep today. So I roasted a bunch of veggies. Um, this is parsnip and rutabaga to put in salads this week for lunches. Um, so like I just randomly snack on this because it's been baking, but I've had a few bites to test it out. Um, I made some cookies because I'm going to make ice cream sandwiches this week. Because uh, if you know me at all, I cannot live without dessert. And then I just had some leftover fruit. So I made like this little mini fruit crisp um, for dessert tonight. <laughs> so I'll be eating that later. <laughs> um, it has like apples and strawberries. And then the top is tiger nut flour, cassava flour, coconut oil, maple syrup type of thing to make like a little crumble. Um... So yeah, that's my day. It's just like baking, cooking, meal prep, and taste testing. Since I am traveling later this week, I'm trying to use up everything that's in my fridge. So I'm going to make a green juice with some veggies that need to get um, juiced before I go. Otherwise, I'll get thrown out. I have some romaine, some kale, um, celery, and then a little bit of leftover cucumber that was in there. So I'm going to juice this up as a little afternoon pick-me-up. Is the only thing that matters when you only see the light And the night is rising And the lights are shining But nothing can be bright Oh, brighter than the moon The sky is far away Doesn't mean you can't change Behind the curtain, the moon is still here Ready to appear And the night is rising And the lights are shining Very green I'm super used to not putting fruit in my juices I've just done like straight green veggie juices for <laughs> years. Um, I actually like it. I find if I put enough cucumber and celery in it, it's like relatively, I don't know, it's sweet enough for me. All right, so I'm gonna make dinner. I'm sorry, my washing machine's on, so that's what you hear in the background. I am first. I'm gonna chop up some potatoes and steam them um, so they can make mashed potatoes. Personally, I don't do old russet potatoes, but I do find or okay with um, like golden potatoes and like those little mini creamer potatoes, that type of thing. So that's usually what I buy. Um, potatoes are considered a nightshade vegetable, but um, I have been able to reintroduce them as long as I'm not eating them every day, which is awesome because they're delicious. Hey. But now it's a candy bar, and I'm all right at the moon. One of the other things I'm making tonight is some bok choy. I love baby bok choy, I like it better than regular, but this is my favorite way to cook it. Um, is I wash it and then I cut it in half, and I lay it, lay it on a baking sheet. <laughs> and I drizzle a little bit of olive oil over it. This is almost done. I need a new thing of olive oil. Okay, there we go. So I drizzle some olive oil. And then I drizzle some coconut aminos. It's my favorite alternative to, is that going to focus? To soy sauce. Um, gluten free and I also get a headache when I eat soy. So soy sauce or coconut aminos and then I do some salt. And if you want like ginger is also like sprinkling some ginger on here is also really good. And then I'll roast this at 350 for probably only like 10 minutes. And then I broil it at the end for a couple minutes to get it a little crispy. Um, and it's really good that way. So I'll show you when that's done. And the last thing I'm doing for dinner is I'm gonna have some salmon. So, I'm also just gonna bake this. When I 
mostly like my salmon just super plain so I usually just drizzle a little bit of olive oil or coconut oil on top I feel like that just like, makes the salmon taste even better and like keeps it moist when it's baking I don't know it's just really good that way and then I just put the salt on because I salt the crap out of everything and then I'll bake this at 350 till for like 15 minutes probably ish so everything's done have all these yummy potatoes um, which I'm just gonna put on here and I'm just gonna mash these with I get my hair and everything that's gross sorry um, I'm gonna mash these with a little bit of um, coconut oil I love coconut oil on my potatoes it makes them nice and creamy good flavor and yes, I, you probably noticed, I do leave the skin on because there's a lot of nutrients in the skin. So salt, of course, my love. And coconut oil, my favorite. All right, so my big messy blob of mashed potatoes. And then I have my perfectly cooked piece of salmon. And my delicious bok choy. I like when it gets a little crispy on the edges like this. I'm actually gonna cut it all. I'm um, just think it's easier to cut it now. And there we go. That is gonna be dinner tonight. It looks so good and I'm so excited to eat because I'm super hungry. So I'm gonna go eat this and I'll see you guys for dessert. Y'all are probably gonna think I'm such a weirdo, but after dinner, this is like after every meal, I always have, this is all shredded coconut. I always have a little spoonful of it. I freaking love coconut and I'm a weirdo and like, just like to eat it straight out of the jar. <laughs> so yeah, I told you I was like weirdly peckish and I just gonna like bite at random things throughout the day. All right, so I'm gonna make dessert um, cause I can't go to sleep without it. As you know, earlier I made this little like mini fruit crisp and then I'm gonna make some coconut whipped cream to go on top. So what I do is just get a can of full fat coconut milk and I keep them, you want to put it in the fridge at least overnight, but I usually just have a can or two in there because I use this so much. Um, putting in the fridge separates the coconut fat from the coconut water at the bottom and you just want to use the fat. Then I have a bowl that I put in the freezer to keep it cold. This helps um, make the cream really thick and like not melt it. So I'm just going to scoop all the coconut cream from the top of this can into my bowl. Um, as you can see, it's like pretty thick, so, um, and I'll use this cream throughout the week. I just like having coconut cream on hand to like add to desserts and stuff. Um, but like, as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, it's like all water down there. So all that fat, um, the coconut, the like thick coconut cream, the fatty part came to the top and I put it in here. And that's how you're able to get a thick, like whipped cream, essentially. Okay. And then I usually add a little bit of vanilla extract, but I'm out of it. So I'm adding a tiny bit of maple syrup, just for flavor. And then you just whip it on high for a couple minutes and it'll get all thick and creamy. whip it until you get a thick cream um, like your typical whipped cream as you can see this is really thick now so it's awesome how it just like thickens up like that and um, I store the leftovers just in the fridge to keep them cold and fresh so I just put my um, crisp in a bowl and I'm just gonna scoop some coconut cream right on top and then because you all know I'm obsessed with coconut clearly I'm just gonna put extra coconut shredded coconut over the whole thing <laughs> and I have two spoons apparently that's what's gonna be for dessert can you see this focus oh, so good yes I love a good crisp or crumble whatever you want to call it excellent pre-bedtime snack <laughs> That's my what I ate in a day video. Uh, remember, this is just one random day out of my week. But if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and then subscribe so you can be part of the YouTube family.